In this video, I'm going to show you how to grant an access permission to your site. There are two ways to look at it. One is when a user sends you a request so that you can give her a permission or grant the permission uh, of the access, or you can invite uh, users. So let's go ahead and go to the uh, site. This is a, a meeting site and let's say someone was kind of browsing through or or heard of this meeting site and you um, he or she went to this site and wants to join um, or have access to this site. So what he or the user could do is click on the name of the user well, obviously this is my name but it could be yours or someone else's and then click on it then click on um, request access so it will send an email uh, by the way I need to copy the URL so that the person who receives or the owner of the um, this site would know which site that you are referring to. So, um, okay, I'll say hi, Joe, or it could be just anyone. Um, I would like to join this meeting site at paste. Um, thanks. Let's say I'm going to name myself. And then click on send request. And then it'll be sent. And then I'll go back to the, uh, the site. And um, the request is sent. Um, here, let's see. The recipient will receive the email saying um, uh, what you wrote and um, you can or that the, um, the person who controls the site can grant the permission or uh, manage the permission okay so that's how you can request and also how the person in charge can control uh, or give the permission to access so okay so that's basically how you can request and now let's look at how you can uh, manage to uh, manage from the other end so let me go back to to the uh, my sample site so here I am I have a full control of this site and so I'm gonna first set it up for the request so when somebody requests um, a permission to access permission then it'll be sent to an, an email account and you can specify that so to do that um, you can go to site actions and then um, site permissions First, in order to manage this, um, this, site, this particular site's uh, access permission, you need to stop inheriting the permission. So basically, when I created this site, I inherited all the permission, um, granted permissions to individuals and groups of people. I granted it from the uh, the parent site. So I'm going to have to stop that, so basically disengage that. And then I'll have more detailed options such as this, I can select particular groups or deselect, or I can grant permissions, I can create a new group, and so on. But here I'm going to show you how to set the email when somebody requests, when somebody sends a request. Um, so here 
go ahead and click on manage access request and then you can uh, allow request to for access and then you can enter your password I'm sorry your email address or anyone's email address so that all the requests will be sent to that email address okay I'm gonna cancel it so that's how you can manage um, the request for permission uh, access permission and now I'm going to show you how to invite how to invite uh, mon uh, users so let's say um, I'm going to cre create a grant permission and then I'm going to find the user that I want to invite let's say I'm going to invite my colleague Letty Barnes so I'm going to type uh, Barnes and then click on check name and it'll give a red on the line which is a good sign so I just go back click and then I have list of all the um, uh, accounts so I'm gonna choose one and then I have underlined that's confirmation that's that is good it's it's uh, recognized by the system and I click on the check name one more time to make sure that everything is correct and then for the grant permission there are different uh, ways to do that so if I had a group of people or users I could choose the group or in this case I'm inviting a particular user I'm gonna click on grant user permission directly so I have a full list of different levels of access um, so from just people who can just view the documents or edit it with approval and all the way to full control so if I give a full control to the user then she or he will have basically the same um, permission to do anything with this site so that's what it is and then come down here and then um, type um, let's say hi Letty I would like to invite you to our team site and name you don't have to provide the URL because it will automatically add that information in the email and go ahead and click on OK um, I'm going to just go ahead and cancel it so once she receives it um, the email um, then there's a link that um, she can click and then come to this site so that's how you can invite uh, one or a group of uh, users to your site so to go back to your home page click on browse and then click on the site title and that will take you to the uh, home page